Jacob Gordberg Drive. 2024 Toyota Tacoma. TRD Pro without launch control. Pretty quick, sounds all right. Not bad. Horsepower and torque. 326 horsepower, 465 pound-feet of torque from an iForce Max 2.4 liter turbo hybrid. Decent power. Four cylinder, by the way. Is it, pump, <laughs> is it pumped in or is that just the vibration of it? Because it sounds kind of all right from in here too. There are some changes with this one for the intake and exhaust. Let's listen to it from the outside. So it does actually come with the TRD performance intake and exhaust. The intake looks cool when you pop the hood. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's that. And the exhaust also sounds pretty good, to be honest, for a four cylinder. But what's the coolest thing about this car is that it's Truck. Got, truck, is that it's got the seats with the suspension. Yes. Have you noticed them doing anything? Because I haven't at all. And I think that's the point of them. Okay, well, um, we're just driving on normal roads. We didn't have a time to test it out when we were at the event. But I feel like I want to feel some movement when I'm like reefing on it and everything. We've got it dialed to the off-road thing. We've changed the pressures and stuff. Yeah, I think people on camera will let us know if you see the seats. Because I think the seats are supposed to be moving a lot. But we are not supposed to be moving. And I think that's the whole point. Yeah, but I don't feel any of it. Like, I'm thinking in my head when they release this, I'm like, we're going to get those the seats from, like, uh, Coast Guard boats and stuff like that. Yeah, in, I in think that's, that's the problem is you already have that in your head rather than yeah. trying to experience what it actually is. And the coolest part is if you look at the back, you see a whole bunch of stuff. You see those big red tubes, yeah. which are not actually red tubes. Those are just the uh, pressure valve things to look like shocks because they don't want stuff actually moving where you put your fingers. So those are fake just for decoration. And that's where you actually adjust the pressure yeah. based on predetermined settings for body weight for vertical and lateral movement. Yeah, and the, and the actual uh, shocks or whatever for that are below everything. So you need to like pull clips off on their video. They showed it all exposed, which actually looks cool. But uh, I'll put my camera phone in there and see if we can see some kind of movement with some kind of adjustment. Show us the pump. And it does come with a pump, this uh, Isodan MX seat air pump. That is a nice pump. Look at that. I want to steal that. Look at this thing. Ooh, that is a nice That's pump. That's legitness. It's a little old hand pump. All right, Jake, I'm going to drive on the gravel. Do you feel? You're not even on the... There we go. Do you feel ISO, ISO dynamic? Uh, no. <laughs> not from that. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> you hit like a pebble. It's, it's tricky. Well, I, I don't know. Like, imagine if it made your life easier for daily commuting, right? Like, that'd be cool. Yeah. The thing that I actually don't like about them, because driving this truck and not thinking about the seats is actually quite pleasant. But what I do notice is that the seat base is creaking, I guess because the connection point or something like that, that bothers me. <laughs> it's just this constant like... And there's valves that you can go from road mode to off-road mode for the vertical and thing. Right now, we are in off-road mode to try to help feel something. I think road mode will just make it stiff and nothing because you don't need fancy seats on the road. I guess it would lock it out. And what sucks is we have the um, orange mud clay paint. Terra. One of the few uh, colors, I think the only color for the TRD Pro. The special color. And because, actually I think there's only it's gray, white, black and in in this. But this is like the one that's exclusive that you can't get on like the other lesser trims of the Tacoma. Which means there are no other colors for the TRD Pro because they're just shades. But there's, oh. You're saying colors versus shades. Yes. Oh, one uh, of those tricky statement things. Is it tricky? It is. Which means we don't get the cool red seats because according to car manufacturer rules, which are not real, you cannot match red to red or orange to red, interior to exterior paint. But it's like a brown. I know, but that, that's car rules. Yeah, I guess. I don't make the rules. There's enough red stitching in here. Yeah. There's a TRD red button. Which There's is, a TRD which, thing on the steering wheel. That, that can apply. There's to, this over here on the, the shifter. exterior paint, but you can't interior it. BMW won't let you do it. Yeah, I know. Or will they? Mazda won't, except they're building me one that's matching red to red. Certain companies don't let you do that. And then the best part about these seats is that you have no seat room in the back. <laughs> yeah, best part for sure. Uh, I genuinely 1000% don't fit back there. Uh, even if I try to cram myself back in there, I wouldn't want to because my knees would be just mangled by this like large plastic surface. <laughs> for my rear facing child seat to be back there, this passenger seat needed to be fully to the front. Yeah. But the kid did fit back there rear facing. But I guess, yeah, this is just like, hey, I want the off-roading TRD Pro 
for cool stuff, and this is really the only configuration you can get it in. Yeah, unfortunately, they made it less practical by making it cooler and better for off-roading. Yeah, and the five-foot bed, which I'm not, I'm not complaining. It looks, it looks cool. The, the proportions are nice. Yeah, and then we got these Fox shocks, which are awesome. They do have uh, external reservoirs on one of the axles, and they are manually adjustable as well. So you literally have to crawl yeah. underneath it and like turn a dial, which is you know pretty it, old school. It does feel a little firmer than I'd like. I'd like to make it softer, but it doesn't go through the drive mode, and I'm not getting my slicker <laughs> hands dirty. Yeah, uh, I don't mind it right now to what it's set to, and I think it's the middle setting. Um, obviously, you can soften it up, but if you hit the brakes, you really see like a little bit of nose dive. Nice. <laughs> And then as for looks, uh, this does look a little more aggressive than the other Tacomas. However, does it look more aggressive than the Trail Killer? Trail Hunter. Trail Murderer. <laughs> trail Serial Killer? That thing looks a little cooler than this, I think. Uh, I don't know. I, I really like this. It's the classic TRD Pro formula. You get the light bar in the front. You get the rigid lights. You get the... Uh, fake, hood, fake hood scoop. <laughs> yeah, you also get that too. Uh, the uh, skid plate as well that says... Yeah, uh, the skid plate's cool. TRD, yeah. So well, I, think I, I like it. I like the Trail Hunter how it's got those like side things that go down and the air... Snorkel? Thing. Yeah, well, not snorkel. Fake snorkel. Yeah. Air, yeah. Raised air intake. Raised air intake. See, <laughs> yeah, I was careful not to say snorkel. Yes. <laughs> I'm okay with either, and I do like these wheels as a, lo a lot as well. Yeah, they, they suit it perfectly. Yeah, even though they're black, they always suit the, these TRD Pros. It matches the painted fender flares. And what would be the Continental recommended tire for a Tacoma TRD Pro iForce Max? The Terrain Contact AT. White walls in or white walls out? Out, bro. Out. And as for the front end, I do like the DRLs. I think they're nice and chill. Yeah. They do look nice and chill on the t-shirt I designed for faces that look like the front of cars that I drive and stuff. So Shout out. Check out our shop for all kinds. Look, I got my, my Miata face one right now. It's so cute. Check, check, I'm graphic designing them, trying my best. Yeah, they're sideways. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. I'm trying my best. Every time you go back to the site, there might be a new design. And then if we pop the hood, we can see all of the stuff and do the dipstick tests. Yeah, so there is an actual dipstick, which is great, but my goodness, the pressure to take this thing out because of the gasket around it, I had to literally take two hands to get this thing out of there. Who would have thought? Who would have yeah. thought it would be actually difficult to pull a dipstick out? First I, time in my life. I think it needed some oil lubrication around the little gasket. And while we're doing the dipstick test, what would be the total energy's recommended oil for a Tacoma TRD Pro iForce Max? That would be the total energy's Quartz 0W20, and always follow the manufacturer's recommended guidelines. And this actually feels like a car that you could probably oil change yourself. Oh, definitely. Also, it's a truck. Why do I keep saying car? I don't know, Yuri. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Take it to Tacoma truck owners. <laughs> Car I, owners. I promise, I promise I won't say how it's tricky to get into the passenger seat and I bang my knees every time. Prius owners. He's so sorry that he keeps calling this the same thing as it, your truck. It still kind of feels like you're sitting lying down a little bit, but not as bad. <laughs> hey, I'm just driving on gravel now. Yes, you are. It's nice. Is the seat doing anything? I can feel the seat moving, but my head is level. I think it's doing a lot. If it is doing something, heck yeah. It's just hard to know. Yeah. I think I know. My sciatica wasn't yelling at me, so that's nice. Okay, now the real stuff. Oh, damn. Dude, this feels great. Is it? Yeah. Is it doing something? And the last two things about the looks. Can you guess what they are? You don't have to. I'll tell you. Okay. We got the black roof, which which cool. It matches. Yep. It's nice. And then we do have uh, stamped on the tailgate TRD Pro which I do like, and I love that the tailgate is powered. Yeah, and it's electronically controlled and damped and everything. How many so. how many ways can you drop and lift the tailgate? I think there's one, two, three, four, technically. Okay. Maybe five. Oh, six. Five, five. <laughs> I think it's five, yeah. So no, we six, because isn't fob, there one here? Key fob here, and then three ways, three buttons, I guess, and, and the push. lift. Exactly. Yeah. Six, bro. Six, <laughs> That's wow. wild. A little unnecessary, A but little I'm bit. here for it. <laughs> yeah. So looks-wise, only looks. This or a Ranger Raptor? I would give them a tie looks-wise strictly. Do you have a preference? <clears throat> looks-wise only. Looks-wise only. I, I think Raptor because they got cooler colors and stuff. Like the, this, this color and that's it? The thing I like about this looks-wise more than the Ranger Raptor is that this is more squared off and chiseled. The Ranger Raptor is a little too round for me. If they kind of squared that thing off like they did with the Raptor F-150, I think I would like it no, more. I, see, I, I think I almost like the rounded up. I think this is a little too square. I like it. Even though the body lines are nice and super chiseled. They're just different. All right, your turn to okay. chisel. <laughs> chisel my way into the driver's seat. Brake stand. Mm. 
Yes, we got one gear of uh, patches. <laughs> I did not expect that out of a Toyota truck. Hell you know yeah, I mean? brother. 400 plus pound feats of torques. Honestly, it doesn't really feel like that. Like The numbers are high, but it doesn't feel like it's that quick. It's not slow. It's definitely um, quick maps. nicer than the outgoing V6, but I still do kind of miss the outgoing V6, I even though it was nothing to really like, you know, write home about at the time. I like simplicity. So do I. And then how much can this tow? I believe 6,000 pounds. It's pretty good for a, an off-roady jumpy truck. And if I'm wrong, the number's on the screen anyways right now. <laughs> no, it's 6,000 pounds, I believe you. Now one cool thing, among many others that we've already talked about that this has, with the Fox shocks, is that we actually get Fox internal floating piston hydraulic bump stops. So, theoretically, you can jump this. And people were jumping this at the event, we just didn't have time. So it'll actually help with the bump stop because basically what a, a bump stop does is stop bumps. But what it does when it's hydraulically assisted, it makes it smoother on the transition down when you land. Oh, nice. So it's not as crashy. So the, um, what's that Chevy, the little Chevy truck that we love, the ZR2? Yes. That one has that as well. Oh, nice. But it's nice. a Multimatic version. We like Multimatic, right? Because they're Canadian? Yeah, we like Canadians. Over Fox? I mean, I like Fox a lot. <laughs> I think these shocks are softer, smoother, nicer than the Multimatic ones on the ZR2. I find those a little too stiff. Give me some dirt. Let me see if I can feel it. I'm going to put my legs up and see if I can give you some dirt. All right. Who should I talk to? About? No, you got to drive straight. <laughs> oh, this is sick. So I am in too high. I cannot feel anything because it's turning. <laughs> um, you can also put this into four high or four low. We do have a two-speed transfer case for real off-roading. No auto though. I feel like the Ford have an auto. Uh, I honestly, I don't remember. I feel like it might, but I know that's usually reserved for the bigger trucks. Yeah. But we do have a couple different drive modes. Not too many of them. Not too overcomplicated. So we have eco, normal, and sport, and then we also have tow haul. And then we also have all of our off-roading stuff with our MTS and our DAC crawl. And awesome 360 cameras for all that stuff so you can see everything which is awesome and then the 360 camera just for parking in general with the outline i have parked in so many choice spots with this not that it matters i can hop curbs yeah but i love it and it's a pretty small truck like it's not a full-size truck so it's, it's well, nice it, in the it, city it is a full-size truck of the past it's bigger, <laughs> of the it's past, bigger than yes. my neighbor's um, tundra yeah and then steering is also super light like You'll, you'll love this if you drive this on the road or off the road as well because you want light steering off-road for rock crawling, crawling and stuff like that and probably Baja and stuff. It's comfy and then combined with very good adaptive cruise lane centering. Nice. That was very nice. And we do have an eight-speed auto and honestly in this thing it's been fine for what I've been doing on the streets or anything like that. Like I wouldn't ever want to manually shift it. That's probably more of an off-road thing but yeah. leaving this in auto it's been fine. And then with the iForce Max when you slow down it goes into like the full electric mode or whatever. Yep. And it hums a bit, which is kind of annoying. It's just like, all right, if you don't have music on, you hear it inside pretty good. But I don't notice any weirdness off the line. Okay. Like a start-stop system would. It yeah. just feels natural. Coming to a stop, I feel like sometimes the brake pedal might be a little weird, but nothing deal breaker-ish at all. So moving on to more of this interior, we do have heated and cooled seats, which is kind of impressive for these types of seats. I didn't really expect that for some reason because, you know, as soon as you get to like bucket seats and crazy isodynamic seats, I feel like they take those features away, at least like cooled, but yeah. we do have them. And the cooled is like very cooled to the point where if I lift my back a little bit, I can see and feel my shirt like moving. Yeah, that's nice. That's it's, nice to have. I feel like this is like luxury off-road trucks, not just yeah. off-road truck anymore. And the seats are actually very comfortable just sitting in them. Like bolstering is nice. Everything's really nice. I like that we have full up down lumbar. Yeah. Because uh, up down forward back because like, you know, a lot of companies, especially Toyota skips out on that. And then I but like we, how it's forward and back um, electronic. And then your tilt is actually just like a panel. That's what I was going to say. So they, they made the uh, the back tilt just manual, a manual which adjustment. Which makes sense, yeah. Yeah, because it is the same seat base as a regular non-isodynamic seat. It's fun. It's cute. Good job, guys. Yes. And then we do have hard buttons for all the climate controls, which is great. Refreshing. Large knobs to control that. It sucks that there's only one large knob, though, for your volume and everything else is touch in here. Yes. Big screen. Massive screen. We but do it, have uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it, but it wireless. Is, it is, uh, yeah, it is updated so that you can have the bar on the left at all times. However, with the wireless, uh, I got in and it aired out and wouldn't show my map, so I had to turn off the car and re-power cycle it to get it to work, which that, is like, if it was, awesome. if it was a plug and unplug, I could have just done that. If I had the option to do both, I would have just gone plug in, and I still think the screen is too big and everything is too big because it's like, it's massive. You have to move your head a lot to see stuff. To reach the bottom right corner is hard, and then when you go to your radio, 
it's such a waste of space. Like you click all channels, it just shows you four channels. Yep. The screen is this big and it'll only show you four. So, you, so you think the Ranger Raptor implementation of a vertical large screen is better? I feel like Ranger Raptor was better and then I also feel like the smaller screen of this is better as well just because mm. it's easier to like manage. But if you get a TRD Pro, no choice. Yeah. Big boy screen. Big boy screen, big boy digital gauge cluster with a couple modes that can change. Yeah, uh, nothing too impressive, but it's also not laggy, so I don't mind it. Yeah, um, everything hot. in here is also non-gloss black, which is great because it's an off-road truck, so mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. They actually thought of something mm -hmm. like that. It's good. Uh, materials and stuff, we got fake carbon on the dash. I like it. The Toyota logo right there. Well, I guess the word. It's not really the logo. <laughs> do, you like, do you like the sound system? Is it all right? Haven't listened to it one bit here. here. Let me, let me, you uh, tell me. Let me take it out and, and show you. Oh yeah. Do you like the sound system? Yeah, yeah. Like it's booming. Apparently you can put this underwater. Should I put it underwater just because they say you can? I mean, if they say you can to a certain depth, just throw it in this river right here. <laughs> Fish it back. And some more off-roady stuff, since we are talking about interior features, we do have this button to lock our rear differential, and then we can also disconnect our stabilizer bar, which is a cool feature. And then if we look over on this side, we have aux one, two, three, so that you can wire in things, which is really nice, just like a Raptor. And then you got the the fog lights, that the, the big light that you need to have your, your high beams on to use that. Yeah, the light bar. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And then uh, this view button is nice because it's a hard button. But after driving that MDX last week, yep. having the view button on the turnstock, oh. that is my that is my perfection. Okay. Because it's always there, it's always easy. Like how many times do I have to reach here and be like, oh, I accidentally disconnected my stabilizer bar while trying to see where to park. You know yeah. what I mean? And we don't have like a Baja mode that yeah. would like permanently turn on your uh, camera, right? Maybe an off-road. Um, oh yeah, we'd probably have to be going like under 30. Yeah, and like lock the yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 no. Okay, uh, cup holders, really great. Love them. Nice. Uh, visors. Tres, dos, unos. Oh, on Espanol. Let's see. And the sunroof. Nice. Nice and chill. Yeah. That's as much sunroof as I need out of this. So I feel like that's pretty much everything with the TRD Pro iForce Max. Yeah. Should we get to the price? I think so. Hit me with it. Well, the Tacoma starts at 63,390. Canadian. And this one is 76,990. So would you take this over a Ranger Raptor here in Canada or in the United States? My answer is the same if it's Canada or US, but the difference in price is actually kind of interesting. So this in Canada is basically the same price as a Ranger Raptor. Okay. But if we look on tsp.truecar.com for discounted price offers in the United States, the Ranger Raptor is, I would say, significantly cheaper than this TRD Pro. So based on both of those, my answer is still Ranger Raptor. I feel like there's nothing about this that I like more than the Ranger Raptor. Exactly. But there's nothing bad about this. It's just like those guys at Blue Oval Company just got one up on every single aspect of this compared to it. It has more power. It's not a hybrid. It's a V6 twin turbo. Even it, though this hybrid is good. Yes. It doesn't have gimmicky seats, which may actually be doing something, but you know, on road, it, they take up more space for interior volume as a daily driven vehicle. So yeah. there's like... There's concessions that you have to make, which kind of sucks, and the price is even higher. But overall, no hate on anyone who gets one of these. Absolutely not. Because it's pretty much just as cool. We have having to sync up and uh, have very similar opinions about this stuff and just both prefer the Ranger Raptor. Yeah, I, and I, I am excited to see the regular Tacomas on the road because I do like how they look, and I'm excited to start seeing these on the road because I haven't seen any of them yet. I want to see the regular Tacomas with that big air dam. Oh, Let's yeah, that's right. Oh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Buy a shirt or something. See you, you know. guys in the next video. Let us know in the comments below what shirt I should grab a design for you next. And I'm going to floor it now. We'll slow it down, too. It's pretty good. <laughs>